everyone welcome to the next session on access workbench tutorials in this session we are going to analyze the first design of this break rotor that we have created we are going to go for static structure analysis of this design so we will start by double clicking on static structural Next, I'll go to engineering data. The material that is generally used for the disc brake rotor is steel or grey cast iron. So I'll bookmark both of them and then I'll go to project and update project. Next, I'll go to geometry, right click. I will import the geometry directly that I have created. Next, I'll go to model and double click on it. I'll first go to geometry and select the material as grey cast iron. Next I'll go to mesh and change the sizing to fine and update. Next I'll go to static structural and I'm going to insert fix support over here. I'll click on apply. Next, I'm going to insert pressure on this face of say 0.5 megapascal. And on this face also, I insert a pressure of 0.5 megapascal. Next, I'll go to solution and insert deformation total. I will insert strain equivalent, stress equivalent and also I want to see the safety factor of this body. So I will click from tools, safety factor or stress tool is the name. I will go to solution and solve. So you can see here, this is the deformation over the disc brake rotor. The value of deformation is 6.628 and it tends to minus 5 mm. It's a very small value which is generated over this body. This is the strain over the body. It is 1.271 and it tends to minus 5 and this is the maximum value of strain over the body. The maximum stress generated is 1.05 megapascal. This is by using grey cast iron. And now we will see the safety factor. You can see that it is just showing as 0. So it simply means that your body is not that safe. So we will just change the material to stainless steel. And it will check out what are the results using stainless steel. So this is the deformation, 4.166 into 10 raised to minus 5 mm. You can animate and check your result. Next we will go for strain. The value of strain over the body is 7.17 into 10 raised to minus 6. This is the maximum value. You can again animate and check this result. Equivalent stress generated over the body is 1.03 megapascal. 
and the minimum value is 0.019 megapascal. This value is very close to the one that we have obtained using grey cast iron. And safety factor you can see over here is showing 15-15. Previously it was 0-0. Which simply means that your body has become completely safe with the use of stainless steel. So if I have to choose with this design and for structural steel would be a better material as compared to grey cast iron because its safety factor is improved which means its life is going to be more. So for longer duration, I can use the disc brake rotor if it is made out of stainless steel. And if I use grey cast iron, then the life is going to be highly unpredictable as you saw that the value of safety factor was zero. I'll once again show it to you. You can see here it's 0, 0. And for steel, it was 15, 15, which means it is highly safe using steel. So, if given a choice, stainless steel should be a better choice of material for making of the disc brake rotor. So, with this, I end the session. I hope you have understood how to analyze the first design that we have made of disc brake rotor using static structure analysis. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.